Hello again friends! So today I'm gonna do another instructional, helping, sort of informational Lolita video. Uh, because my first one got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of people said that it helped. So here I am to help y'all again with your lolly probes. So if you uh, read the title of it, the video, you'll probably know that this is on tips and tricks to help coordinate a Lolita coordinate sounds dumb but coordination is important when you're coordinating a coordinate so when you're starting out it can be confusing and you're just like this is pink and this is frilly so it goes together somehow lolita and i was like that too everyone's had an ida face but i'm here to help you and help you figure out what colors go with what and the silhouette and all the crap and the themes and the stuff so I've sort of organized it into five big important points. And I've, if you see me looking down, I wrote this down awkwardly. Uh, the first one, and probably the most important, is balancing colors. The main thing I notice when I see any coordinate is where the colors are. Uh, think about value, lights and darks, off-whites and whites, try to get them to match. It's hard, I know. Uh, pastels and darks, blah blah blah, all that stuff. And what I like to think about in my cohort is where the colors are. If there's something that's an accent in the headpieces, I like to keep that also in the neckline sort of area, jewelry type thing, as well as if there's like a color in your border print, it's good to keep that in the shoes. Do you hear what I'm saying? Balancing color is very important. It's the main thing anyone's gonna see when they look at your coordinate, and likely it's the main thing you're gonna be thinking about. Hard not to sort of overpower a coordinate with one color, unless you're doing like Hime Gal, then just make everything pink, or if you're doing Gothic, then make everything black. But generally speaking, it's good to sort of spread the colors out. You wouldn't want like a big, red bonnet and a red cardigan and a red blouse and then like a navy blue skirt and blue socks and like uh, white shoes because then it's just like why are you like a, the french flag almost it's good to keep some pink up here a little bit of pink up here pink down here pink shoes or since there are neat little strawberries i might have red shoes with pink ankle socks I'd keep some red up here, maybe a little bit of red, just accents, you know? And you can have multiple accent colors, it looks really good. As well as keeping your metal colors the same, that's kind of important. Uh, a lot of people go for gold, which is awesome. There's also silver and you know, brass, if you're doing steampunk and chrome, there's all sorts of options. But it's good to keep that the same all throughout your coordinate. But seriously, when can I find gold shoes that aren't like sold out on Bodyline? I want gold shoes. I want in on this trend. And again, these are all just tips. You can do whatever you want. And it can still be Lolita and you can still look gorgeous and awesome. But this is just sort of from my experience of trying to keep everything balanced and intricate and make it all flow. I'll put some examples here of sort of little schema, mock-up coordinate things I've done on Photoshop of coordinates I've planned in God the past like two years. I like to pay attention to color and shape and theme and style. Second big thing is style. This one's kind of easy. Uh, gothic, sweet, classic, and even weirder substyles like Mori and Shiro and people do cult party K Lolita. Anything, anything you want. That style's important and you need to keep that in mind because, I mean, you can do gothic with bunnies if you want, that's probably cute, but just, it's good to keep in mind what your general goal is. And there's theme, which kind of goes with style. Uh, you can have sweets, perfume, god, bunnies, roses, I don't know, Halloween, Easter, cakes, like there's so many themes and the main thing about this is that a lot of Lolita prints are based around a certain theme like Whip Showcase is based on cakes. Romantic Rose Letter is based on roses and 
letters, and Rose Toilette is based on perfume. So these themes can sort of coincide with your style. Like I say, this is a very sweet Lolita sort of theme, as well as Rose Toilette is very like elegant, sweet, almost classic. Not classic yet. What is going on here? So going along with the theme, it's good to sort of take the elements from the print of your dress, like Whip Showcase, and incorporate that in your accessories and, you know, little other areas. Like, since this is a very pastry and cake themed dress, I've got a little, a little pastry on my nog in there. Don't ask how that's attached. It was a long story. And I've got this little handmade bow that was made from a cupcake print fabric. As well as, uh, this one's a little bit more abstract, but this cardigan has this slight little ruffle here. It's got the same on the sleeves. And I find that sort of goes really well with the bodice of the dress, of the JSK, as well as some of the frillies here on the cakes and that sort of thing. So it all just, you keep the same little elements going on throughout your core. People may not notice it, but it's really just pleasing to the eye. And, you know, it's an art. Coordination is an art. And it's just nice to keep everything down to a T. Speaking of tea, I'm gonna go get some tea. Intermission. And the fourth big point would be silhouette, which a lot of Lolitas will say is arguably the most important component in making a coordinate Lolita. If you don't have the big skirt shape, then it's kind of just a pretty dress. There are four main types of skirt shape. There's A-line, bell, cupcake, and then the weird old school like T-length, which is also kind of A-line, but very, I'll put a picture of probably kamikaze girls. But silhouette doesn't just have to mean skirt shape. It can also mean sort of the different pieces that you choose for your coordinate. Whether you want a JSK and a blouse, a JSK and a cardigan, my cat is being very loud, an OP or a, I don't know, a big cult party cave flowy thing. If you want one of those like butt cave things that are trending now, how tall you want your shoes, how much ruffle you want, the kind of headpiece you want. Do you want a bonnet? Do you want a beret? Do you want to hit your arm on the podium beside you? Do you want a big head bow? It all goes with the silhouette. And for number five, I've got quality. Now, this doesn't just mean if you like mix body line with angelic pretty. It also has to do with the general fabric. Like here, I've got a super lightweight cardigan which is good. I wouldn't want a super heavy cardigan because this is a super light white chiffon print. As well as if you've got like, I don't know, a velvet bow on the neckline. That probably shouldn't be the only velvet thing in your coordinate because that's a really strong eye-catching fabric. So I don't know, velvet bows on your socks, velvet trim on your dress, whatever works. You're just in my, just in my head piece. I've got the 6% Doki Doki sparkly stars here and I've got the matching sparkly sugar baby pink whatever it's called bow. And I don't know, I think that's nice because they're broken up and they're the same material so it all just looks like it flows. I hope this helped you or inspired you in any way and if you have any questions, comment because I'm going to see it and I'm very likely going to reply. And as a final note, I need to thank you for me reaching 1,000 subscribers. This is what, my fifth or sixth video, and just the amount of people that follow me already is mind-blowing. I get so many comments, and so many thumbs ups, and so many shares, and it's just, it's a dream come true. It's so, so lovely, and I appreciate you all so much. I'm gonna try and reply to all of your comments, and just love you all equally, and so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below, go to my Tumblr, go to my Facebook. I'll definitely reply and I'll try to help you the best as I can. We can sort of coordinate together. It'll be, it'll be your little Lolita pit crew. I hope to see you soon and happy coordinating. And the fourth would be silhouette, which a lot of Lolitas arguably say that is the most cat you are shaking the camera. There are four big cat.
Cat, stop moving. Cat, oh honey, oh honey. Hi.